Jingle bells, jingle bells. I'll get it. <laughs> Hi, I'm glad you're here. Hi, you Ronald. I love the holidays. Me too. <laughs> it's a magical time of the year. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, magic. You know what else is magical? What? Reading a good book together. Neat. Can we have popcorn too? And cocoa? And a blanket. You, you and hurry. 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 Here in Mill Valley, folks seem to do a lot of wishing around this time of year. I guess wishing and Christmas just naturally go together. Let me show you what I mean. Once upon a Christmas, miles and miles away, there was a little girl named Ivy. And Ivy lived with many other children in Miss Shepherd's home for orphans. Ivy, why didn't you speak up before? All the other children have been taken in for Christmas. Somehow we just forgot about you. That's okay. And now it's too late. I take you home myself, but I have to visit my sister. I've got a place to go. Oh? Where? My... My grandma's house. Mm, no. No, you don't have a grandmother. Well, seems the only thing we can do now is send you to the Appleton Infants Home. You remember that, don't you? But it's just for Christmas. Then everything will be back to normal. Come on now, we'll just make the train. <sighs> I don't like sending you all the way to Appleton by yourself. I'll be all right. Well, I suppose. It's not that far. Now remember, it's the last stop. I remember. Don't get off before that. Okay, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Your present. Merry Christmas. big Christmas tree and lots of presents for me. Especially a doll. That's what I really want. Maybe this is a doll. A beautiful Christmas pencil box. Oh. This is Holly, the newest doll in the toy shop right here in town. Holly, you blink too much. What's wrong with you? I'm wishing. I'm wishing. I'm wishing. <laughs> Ooh, dolls can't wish. Don't get abracadabra angry, Holly. He's a meanie, he's a meanie, he's a meanie. He can do terrible things. I... I don't care. I wish a little girl would come along and take me home. I wish she'd pick me up and... And drop you. <laughs> I warn you, children's hands are rough. They squeeze. But I want to be squeezed. Ah, no child will want you. You'll be a... <laughs> leftover. <laughs> Tension! Peter, the 
customers. Christmas is no time to be playing with toys. Oh, oh dear me. What am I saying? <laughs> Here, wrap this for Mrs. Gonzalez. Your bologna sandwich? No, 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 no. Here, make a pretty package, kid. 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 I'm so tired of kid. I wish folks would treat me like a grown-up. Eddie's! Why can't I be put in a pretty package like the bride doll? You! <laughs> a wedding can be any day of the year, but you're a Christmas doll. After tomorrow, nobody will want you. Now, wishes are fine things, as long as you don't depend on them. But sometimes you just gotta help a wish along. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Officer Jones. Merry Christmas to I, E, Y, Ivy. Hey, that's me. Who did that? Maybe I do have a grandma. <laughs> Find a grandma. Here's the place to look. Fresh Christmas trees. Chestnut trees. <laughs> Fresh Christmas cookies. Get your candy canes here. Albert, is something wrong? Uh, nothing. Edna, what brings you out in all this hubbub? Shopping for our Christmas dinner. Just a small chicken, remember. Christmas is just another day. Oh, Albert, why don't we have a Christmas tree this year? We go through this every year, Edna. It would be a waste of money. We have no children to enjoy it. But... We'll talk about this later, dear. I'm on duty. <laughs> Here you go. She's so pretty. I wish I had someone to give her to. <gasps> Did that doll blink? Must be my imagination. <laughs> Mr. Smith? I'd like one Christmas tree, if you please. And I'll have to get lights, and ornaments, and tinsel, and a star. Oh, it's going to be a very Merry Christmas, Mr. Smith. Indeed it is, Mrs. Jones. You want a balloon? Don't you know me? I don't think so, no. Did you want a balloon? I'll take a blue one, please. Phew! What a 
day. Pack up all the leftovers and, 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 and we'll put them in inventory till next year. Don't worry, Mr. Blossom. I can handle everything. <laughs> oh, you're a good kid, Peter. And you were a great help. Uh, pick, pick any toy that's left for a bonus. <clears throat> don't you think I'm a little old for toys? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Seems to me you are never too old for toys. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Here, you lock up tonight. I'm too tired. Me? Really? You're a big kid now. Uh, responsible. I trust you. Whoa. And don't forget to deliver those boxes. Good night, kid. <laughs> I mean, um, good night, Chief Assistant Peter. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mr. Blossom. Here, Chief Assistant Peter says have a good view of Christmas, you two. I'll put you in inventory later. And maybe I will pick out something for myself. no one out there. It's over. People have all gone home. Yes. Then, oh, do we go to that place Mr. Blossom spoke of? In, in... in inventory? <laughs> what is inventory? A small, dark room where no one sees you or disturbs you, where you wait, covered with dust, and, 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 and I'll be there! <laughs> Come back! Please! I'm so cold. There is nothing lonelier, there is nothing colder than being cold and lonely on Christmas Eve. But sometimes a wish all by itself isn't enough. Sometimes a person has to make her wish come true. I'm off, Edna. Be back for breakfast. Uh, nice. It, it looks nice, Edna. Can you help me? I guess. Christmas. 
this girl. My Christmas doll. I wish I could hold her. I wish she could hold me. And hug her. And hug me. She's cold. I have to find a warm place to sleep. I'll be back. Hmm. Maybe this could be a good luck key. I sort of need some good luck. It's warm. I could stay here, I guess. Ugh. I'll look for my grandma in the morning. Do you want a balloon? Don't you know me? Merry Christmas! I hear the bell, Miss Shepherd. I'm getting up. Just a, oh, I'm not there. I'm here. I have to find my grandma and my Christmas doll. <sighs> my good luck key. My Christmas doll. My Christmas girl. <laughs> She's outside and can't get in. <laughs> and the shop's not open today. Oh. <laughs> but Officer Jones, I've got to find that key. It's all right, Peter. But Mr. Blossom trusted me. He, he gave me the key to lock up. I, I didn't know I had a hole in my pocket. I don't think anyone's robbed the store. They'll never trust me again. What kind of key was it? Uh, big. A thief might have picked it up. Here. It wasn't a thief. It was me, Ivy. So you don't have to cry. Cry? Who'd cry? Well, thanks. I better go inside and look things over. I'm in charge, you know. And I'm going home for breakfast. Now, what are you up to, little lady? Trying to find a grandma. And where might this grandma live? I don't know exactly. Child, I think I should take you to my house just to get warm. Then, we'll do something about finding your grandma, okay? <laughs> Everything looks okay in here. Hey, we didn't sell the train. I could take that as my bonus. Hmm, that little girl saved my job. Maybe she'd like a present. Why don't I give her the doll? Because I can't afford to, that's why. Wait a minute. Mr. Blossom said I could take a toy. He didn't say it had to be for me. Okay. Uh, Ouch! Uh, Get away! Uh, hey! Uh, stop uh, it! Uh,
Weird. Look, a grandma's house. Grandma? See, a Christmas tree. And there aren't any children. Not a one. It's what I've been looking for. A house with a beautiful Christmas tree, but no children. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't go home with you. I, I think I see my grandma. Please, sir, you ring the bell. No need to ring the bell. You can come right in. You know her? Shh. Edna! Albert, breakfast is ready. Someone here to see you. What, dear? Oh, my. She wants to ask you something. Yes, dear? Can that be my Christmas tree? Well, yes, if you like. Delivering that Christmas present you wanted. Perhaps this is for you, too. Oh. <gasps> My Christmas doll! Oh, thank you! I'm just going to hold you and hug you and squeeze you and love you. Ma'am? Can I ask you a big favor? Would you be my grandma? Your grandma? You can think it over. All you'd have to do is love me. I think I could manage that. So Ivy got a Christmas doll and a grandma, just as she wished. And Holly got held and hugged and squeezed, just as she wished. And when the Joneses adopted Ivy, which they did, they had the child they wished for. And Peter, well, Peter wished people would stop treating him like a kid. And I guess he got his wish, because now Mr. Blossom lets him lock up every single day. And my wish? Well, I wish all of you the merriest Christmas ever. Books, Ronald. Uh -huh. Cool. And there are lots of terrific books in the library just waiting for you to read or have someone read to you. Take a look. <laughs> Discover a book. Here's one about baseball. Oh. Batter up. All right. Oh, we can read about fish. Whoa. There's one about airplanes. And here's a book with a message just for you. Whoa. Happy holidays.